Um, so thanks for, for taking a minute or two to, to talk with us. Um, I guess there's so many things I would, I would love to ask you about BACD, about the beginning of BACD. Um, uh, you know, I understand that you had a, a huge role in, in the inception, at the, at the start of, of the society. Okay, well, some, somebody had to do it. Um, I would say, to be fair, that I w was lucky to lead a very good team of people. Okay. Um, the three of us who probably started the academy myself, David Bloom, Elaine Halley, we had a very, very good group of people around us who all saw the same sort of vision of an organisation about aesthetic dentistry where we could not only just educate the profession, educate the public. It's nice to see that some of those themes are still true you know, 14 years later. Um, the original board of directors, everybody pulled in the same direction and it was extre you know, I get a lot of the credit for it, uh, which is nice, but at the same time, the fact that we had a good team and everybody was doing the same thing, perfect. Excellent. And, and uh, it must be quite satisfying to come along to an event uh, so many years later and just see what a great success it's uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very it's very pleasing to see that the vision that we had is continuing. Of course, like everything, the dentistry has evolved and adapted and changed, and the BACD has evolved and adapted and changed to try and meet some of those changes in the profession. Um, it's arguable that perhaps the BACD has been at the forefront of a lot of things, um, the move away from very destructive aesthetic dentistry, which was... There was a time when that might have been kind of okay. These days, definitely not, because we have many, many more ways of doing things nicely that we didn't have before. Um, but it's very pleasing to see that we're getting... I see lots of old friends when I come here, and it's nice to see new friends as well, some of, the, of our younger colleagues coming along and learning how to do things that they might not have got you know, at dental school, um, and learning it from every... So it's nice to see that atmosphere of sharing I think, and that's one of the themes uh, speaking to people today that I'm, I'm discovering is, is the, uh, the environment, the atmosphere, the camaraderie among people that are within the organisation is, is very strong. Mm. Yeah. It's really, it's really, really nice. We try to make it as open and inclusive as we, well. We tried at the start to make it as open and inclusive as we could, and it's nice to see again that seems to have continued and everybody feels welcome. So it's really nice. And, to and where do you see it going? Uh, as an organisation, just uh, from your perspective now, where you are, um, the future is interesting. You know, we have there are challenges to be met in terms of adoption of CAD CAM, um, trying to be realistic about no, non-intervention, minimising intervention when that's appropriate. Um, we're lucky that all the materials and techniques that we have today actually make our job for that a lot easier. But still, there are challenges to be addressed as new stuff comes along. Um, an o but overall, I think it's probably time to be a lot more inclusive, yeah. even within within the community of people who are not necessarily involved with BACD, yeah. um, because I don't think I ever saw a patient come into the practice and say, I'd like an ugly restoration, please. <laughs> Every dentist should be interested in doing aesthetic or cosmetic dentistry, because ultimately we should be making restorations that look like natural teeth. Absolutely. Yeah, it's huge. Um, so I guess um, you're here a year for the, the remainder of the conference. So you, yep. And what uh, have you have you penciled uh, marks against what you're wanting to go and do? And see you, um, uh, okay, Francesca Vellati today, always worth listening to. Um, tomorrow, Marcus Blatz will be good. Max and Beagra have to be good. Um, there's a couple of periodontists talking about crown lengthening and mucous gingival procedures. Those are also going to be excellent lectures. So whoever is still here tomorrow, they're in for a treat. Excellent. The only difficulty is a little bit of self-discipline is required at the dinner tonight, <laughs> so you can be there at half eight. Bright eyed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, listen, where about you? London, you London right? Bridge, so right in the centre. So I was teaching at the, um, we have a teaching institute and a practice in the same place. So I was doing courses yesterday and then came over here the, this morning. And, and to anyone who's uh, watching, listening or, or reading any uh, transcription of this, you would uh, highly recommend to get involved, come along to yeah, an absolutely. event? absolutely. Absolutely, BACD, come along, it's a nice, open, inclusive family. Um, for me, because a lot of the people who do the courses that I run, they come from our courses to BACD. Um, having heard me take them through a lot of the um, concepts, it's, not, it's useful then for them to go listen to other people, put all that into context, and still be able to take it back to the practice. It works, so definitely, anybody who's watching it, come along. Thank you very much, enjoy the rest of the conference, and it was a real pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.